acupressure points bell's palsy symptoms. for bell's palsy the bell's palsy is where the cranial nerve 7 which controls a lot of the motor function for your face um, for some reason doesn't work or has some issues so it can cause half of the face to droop downwards right um, and so activating the nerves for cranial nerve 7 what you can do is actually massage the area so the on the side that's affected is massage the cheek right and I tend to do circular motions and trying to help it kind of lift upwards right so because when you get Bell's palsy it droops downwards so lifting it up massaging the cheek and also up into the forehead you also want to massage around the ear because this is actually where cranial nerve 7 comes out of so going right in front of the ear and you can go around the back of the ear, along the ridge, and into the neck area. And then behind into the ear lobe. So again, Bell's palsy, you can massage here. Another option you can do is, if you have a, a gua sha tool, using a spoon, or if you have one at home, is actually try to, you can use a little bit of oil, um, something that's fine on your face, and then kind of gently scrape upwards to help with the activation. So again, it's on your face, so you want to be gentle. So again, scraping upwards. You can, if you have your partner, they can help too. Lay down and there's like a nice facial. So again, Bell's Palsy, you should try those and let me know how it goes.